guys don't know about that peach monster iced tea, fire. Just gotta crack it open for the boys right quick. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. And today I am super excited for what we're about to do for my car. And by the title of this video, you guys already know what it is. We're gonna be putting the walled style diffuser on the back end of my car. You guys might have seen already the VLAN taillights, um, and then we got the walled style trunk spoiler as well as the top spoiler, which actually looks really, really good. But there was a one important piece of the puzzle missing from the back end of the car and this was it. I already mocked it up yesterday. Package came in yesterday, I wanted to mock it up to see how it fit, and I'll show you guys how it looks like right now. So pretty much polyurethane all around, black finish. What I wanted to do is I wanted to use mostly 3M tape to hold this against the bumper. Um, but after mocking it up yesterday, chances are I don't think that is possible. There's so many gaps in like little creases everywhere that chances are I probably won't be able to do it. But I did hit up actually one of you guys and I'll leave his Instagram, I'll probably leave his Instagram right here so you guys can check out his page. But he pretty much gave me a whole rundown on how it looks like. His IS is clean as hell. Definitely check his out. So he gave me some pointers on where he mounted his screws and where he put 3M tape. So I'm probably gonna go with his method and see how it goes. In the package, it did come with some self-tap screws and also some double-sided tape. And then I also went to Lowe's just to pick up more double-sided tape, so just in case this one isn't strong enough, I do got a stronger set of tape. I did pick this one up from Icon Motorsports. I was debating on eBay, but I didn't know how the eBay fitment was going to be. All right, so like I said, I'm probably gonna have to drill. I wanna mock it just to see where I can kind of drill the holes in the bottom. Um, Cause I would rather drill the holes in the bottom of the bumper than actually on the bumper itself where you can see it. All right, so that's pretty much how I want it to sit. I want it as close to the body line of, or I want it at least close enough to this line of the bumper. Um, so if you are planning to get one of these or you do have one in the future and you're gonna install one, try to line the edge of the diffuser up with the body line just so you kind of have a clean line and kind of like a guide to um, figure out where you want to place the bumper or place the diffuser. And I think the hardest part about this bumper is actually gonna be like the side fins. So like it looks really good here and then you have like this gap here so I think drilling a screw maybe like right there will probably help with this gap and then with this one it's it's a little weird so i might have to drill a hole into the diffuser and then into the bumper at the bottom to get that done as well as on the other side <laughs> enough fooling around so for the most part, I kind of know where I want to place the diffuser. So I place some tape. So you do see this body line. It does kind of go all the way towards the other side of the bumper. So that's where I want to place this side of the diffuser. So this lines up pretty well. So now I know that if I take it off, I know where to place this side as well as the middle. So the middle is pretty on point of where I want it to be. And then as well, I kind of mocked it up on this side as well. This one worries me though. This gap right here is kind of throwing me off. I don't know how most people did it because this one is a little tricky. It does create like a little, it, it, it creates a big space to be honest. Like there's a big gap there. So we'll see how it goes. So if you guys do end up planning to order from Icon Motorsports, they do give you only four self-tapping screws. So if you do have some lying around, definitely use, I plan to use six. If you guys only plan to use four, definitely use the four, make use of that. But since the fitment is kind of weird on mine, I actually am gonna use six. So go to like Lowe's, go to like O'Reilly's. They'll definitely have some, they might have a big box. But more soft tapping screws is better than no soft tapping screws. Look at this dude. Honestly, it looks pretty good. I'll give you guys a kind of more wider perspective. Just pretend that the basketballs 
and the cardboard box and the blue tape aren't there and that's pretty much how it's going to look it's coming along pretty good so the diffuser already came with two slots to drill on each fin so i went ahead and marked that one so i'm gonna do that one and the one on the other side so that's two and we're gonna shoot for four on the bottom so one two three and four i think that should give us enough kind of stability along with some 3m tape along the bottom to get the bumper into place where we want it All right, so now that we mounted the 3M tape, I'll show you guys. So it's all along the edges, and then you even got all around the edges on top, and then I even got some there. So we're hoping that that should be good enough. And with the six bolts that we're going to drill into this, I think it should be good enough. And if you guys may be wondering, there are a lot of scratches on the bumper itself, as well as like the light. Um, I actually bought it like that. It was my first time buying a car. All I knew was to make sure everything was working. I did look over the bumper, so give me some slack if you guys do end up seeing this in person. Honestly, it doesn't look as bad on camera. Let me see if I can kind of get it. It doesn't look as bad on camera, but when you see it in person, it's pretty noticeable. All right, boys, so we got some good news and we got some, maybe like a tiny bit of bad news. So for the most part, we got all the screws in and it is pretty sturdy. The bad news is all of the 3M tape provided by Icon is eh. So all of it came off. It's sticking to the car and it came off the, the diffuser. We're actually gonna have to use the 3M double-sided tape I got from Lowe's and stick it onto the diffuser so we can get better double-sided tape on it. Here's how it looks like. <laughs> Solid, but we're about 80% there, so we're almost there. So let me show you guys where the imperfections are. Um, they are pretty noticeable. So if you're walking from the front of the car to the back, you will see this like ginormous gap here. Like I can legit stick my finger in there and like that's how big the gap is. When it comes to this one, it just doesn't want to stick. I don't know why. And then it opens up the gap on that side and you can see the 3M tape there. And we got a visitor. I heard you from all the way over there. Yeah, I wanted to do that. What's up? How's it going? Let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see videos about this G37S. No. Very nice, very nice. All right, man, so if I haven't updated you guys already, it's looking a little rough right now, not to, uh, to be honest. So for the most part, the diffuser's on. We do have to screw it in just a little bit more for it to actually stick and for it to pretty much not fall off when I'm driving. I'm gonna head to Lowe's, get some longer self-tapping screws, and then I'm gonna drill it. I have no choice. I think I have to actually drill it into the, uh, into the bumper. It's been about an hour. We finally got some food in our system. We need more self-tapping screws. So we're gonna go to Lowe's and grab like a box full of them. All right, so we finally made it back home and we're gonna attempt to try to fix this. All right, ladies and gents, we got some good news. So all we did was adjust where this screw was in the bottom of the fin and it pretty much pushed the diffuser back to the bumper. My suggestion is if you are going to do this, make sure this fin is as far as possible as you can push it. So if you have another friend or you have someone to help you out, have them push on on like this part of like towards like the middle diffuser right above where the exhaust tip is while you screw this. Um, so I do have a screw in the fin and then I also have like double sided tape on the side of it. So there is like double kind of kind of help there. So that's one suggestion I have. Most of the gaps are filled. You have this like one like kind of big one, but it's better than before to be honest. So the gap on the passenger side is pretty, I want to say it's kind of noticeable and then on the outside it is kind of noticeable as well. 
And if you go to the driver's side, this one's not as bad as the other side and as well as like this part. You can definitely see a gap, but that's only if you like go really close and you can tell. But overall, for the most part, the rear end of the car actually looks pretty good. Like, there you go. Like, I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks. The next day. All right, guys. So it is actually the next day. I'm interrupting this vlog for you guys because yesterday I just wanted to get it on and I got frustrated and I was like, bro, there's so many gaps. What the hell do I do? So I wanted to wait another day and me and my brother actually ended up just drilling some holes in the bumper. We actually have four holes drilled into the diffuser and the bumper. So I'll have you guys take a look at it. We have one, uh, one over there, one over here, one under here, and then one, one right here. So it does definitely look much better. There are actually no real gaps anymore. Um, you actually got like this one right here but that one's not as bad. This one's like very minor, not too big of a gap, especially here. And then like on the side here, it's not as much. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. That's why this is being recorded on my iPhone. There you go. Looks much better. So if you guys are thinking of getting one, definitely do recommend it. Chances are you probably have to join through your bumper. But yeah, let's get back to the vlog. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this content and you like how the diffuser turned out, Give the video a big thumbs up. I honestly do recommend this this diffuser. It does give it like a subtle slash aggressive look. If you guys enjoy how the car is turning out, uh, give this video a big like, man. The car has come a long way since it was stuck. And there are parts coming in and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this build turns out, subscribe to the channel, man. If you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram right here. I do give updates prior to posting it on YouTube first. So if you guys haven't followed me there, I'll leave my Instagram right here so you guys can check that out. Make sure you guys are staying safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.